Hello, it's great to be with you. And no problems at all on the weather front as we get ready for this match. I'm Derek Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry. And sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from La Liga Profesional de Football. It's Boca Juniors taking on River Plate. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. The line-up then for the hosts. Well, it's a 4-3-3 with two out-and-out -out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width, but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. And this is the initial 11 for the visitors today. Well, they're starting in a very solid 4-5-1, but they transition really quickly, and key to that are the wide players. They'll support the centre forward as soon as they win the ball back, and they usually do it with a lot of quality. And they kick off here. Zeballos. He'll try his luck here. Good stop from the keeper. And there's the delivery. It might still be problematic. Benedetto. Must be. Oh, he saved it well. And the short option preferred. And the advantage accrues to the attacking side. Well, the fact of the matter is sometimes there is no advantage, and that was the view of the referee. Well, the referee opting for the lenient approach this time. I think it's a great bit of refereeing. Everybody now knows the next foul will be punished. And fired from the flank into the area. Couldn't keep it. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. And the pass not quite accurate enough. And a throw in then. Clearance wasn't decisive. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Dario Benedetto. Ceballos with it. Now, who can he play it to? Romero. In position. Offside, a tight one.
Oh, this is looking promising. And clears his lines. Can they nudge in front? Oh, keeper dealt with it. Now the delivery, well, a bit short with the clearance. It's opening up for them. A goal! They've opened the scoring in the derby. And I'll tell you what, you can hear a pin drop in here. Well, just look at this strike again. He hits it so well. That's a great bit of skill. No wonder he's pleased with himself. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? De La Cruz. There's a slide draw pass. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. Varela and good pressure high up the pitch could be a chance to break here an incisive pass just couldn't capitalise there Well, there you can see it. The visitors haven't been able to control possession, but their attacking play has been really incisive. It's been a really good display from them so far. Well, that's right. Preserving the lead and doing it really well. And he's won the ball. Teammates available. No degree of difficulty at all for the keeper. Miguel Borja and the ball with Barco and space to attack it is to be a throw in and options in the centre really doing a fine job of protecting the ball Good looking ball in behind, and after the cross, a tremendous block. And so it is, the first half story has been written. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, I really liked his first half display. He was certainly the most influential player on the field, and I'm expecting more of the same in the second 45 minutes. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. It needs an accurate cross. Giving it a try. Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper.
And over comes the corner. Clattered away. Not giving him a moment's peace. And he keeps going. Ceballos with it. Being egged on by the crowd. And showing fine vision. On the pass in behind the defence. Quick thinking from the keeper. Enzo Perez. And they have possession again. Varela. That's a good looking ball. And he takes it on. And the keeper more than equal to it. And time for the change now. It's a short one. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Benedetto takes on the shot. And a decent save. Full credit. Well, the crowd are doing their bit. Can they find the equaliser here? Substitution time it is here. They take it short. Benedetto. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. Good work to win it back high up the pitch. Benedetto. Electing to cross into the centre. Attending to his defensive chores. Bodies forward and the break looks on. And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. Benedetto. The cross is on. an effective clearance it looked as though it had a chance of going in for the equaliser it was close it was a decent effort just need to keep plugging away now and surely the goal will come Panavasino. The referee knew that was fat. a chopping challenge and the referee has got to have a big think about it. And a yellow card for that, Stuart. And he's going to have to be careful now. That was a silly challenge. Ten minutes to go. Well, nearing full time, and here's the question. Are they going to come up just that little bit short? Stuart, your thoughts? Well, it's been tight, but they've lacked a cutting edge. They've done well at the back and in midfield, but the final pass, the shot or cross, have lacked that bit of quality. Can they find that missing link in these final few minutes? This could be it! And it is! He's done it! Surely a case of game over!
Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. And the ball is moving again. 2 0 is how it stands. Frank Fabra. Good visualization and execution. Offside it is, but he needed sharp eyes to make that decision. Well, it's fine margins, isn't it? But in the end, he just went too early. So three minutes of stoppage time it'll be. Romero. He has teammates around him. And there goes the final whistle, much to the disappointment of their supporters. Well, Derek, they were certainly off the pace today. Beaten to the board in too many key areas. They need to refocus now and perform better next time out. Well, as we run the rule over this man's work, positive after positive, Stuart. Well, that performance sums him up, really. You're never disappointed with what he gives you. Such a good player.